Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to review this. This is the Ingnock 18.5 inch portable monitor. And you might ask uh, what you can do with it. Well, mostly it's going to get used, in my case, for corporate use. Uh, we're going to issue it to a client and the client is going to take it with him when he travels. So when he's in a hotel, he can work on a large external screen as well as his laptop, which we're going to show. We're also going to show how this connects to our cell phone. In our case, uh, that is a Samsung S22, uh, and it will run Samsung DeX. Uh, if you have an iPhone, you could also connect to it and push your display out to here, which could be quite nice if you're trying to watch a movie or something. But another big market for this is going to be gaming. Um, we don't have a use for that, but uh, this will connect to a, a Nintendo Switch, a PlayStation, an Xbox, and pretty much any other device that you can get HDMI on or USB-C to USB-C. Let's get to opening this up in just a second. We just finished a review yesterday of the 16 uh, inch unit. And the 16 inch unit, uh, we'll put a link in the top right hand corner here for you. Uh, and that unit is a WUXGA. What that means is instead of having 1,080 dots down, it has 1,200 dots down. So it's about 10% larger and you think, and make a difference? Well, it might. And uh, it's gonna cost about, um, oh, $150. So it's, you know, pretty darn inexpensive. Um, and just before we, as a last thing, just before we get to opening this up, uh, I should talk a little bit about the company. Ingnock, can't find anything about them. Even trying to Google translate their name came up with a shirtless in Hungarian. So yeah, not the most useful thing to know. Uh, the company's website, according to the Wayback Machine, came, went live on, on October 30th. So that's just a few weeks ago. And the first video on their YouTube channel and when a few other reviews started uh, for these products uh, was about nine months ago, uh, basically March, uh, start of March, 2023. So um, we can't find anything much on this company beyond that. Uh, and are we willing to take a shot at it? Yeah, look, this stuff is not rocket science. You take an LCD screen, a panel, you put some USB ports on it, you put it in a pretty box, and you ship it. It's not rocket science. These units do not have Wi-Fi. They do not have Bluetooth. They do not have a battery. So they're just simple screens. So I have every confidence that even a new manufacturer can get these right. And the 16.5 that we tested yesterday was excellent. Okay, let's get to opening this thing up and see how it works. This explains how to tent it, but we're gonna show you that. This explains how to connect things to it. And we're going to show you that as well. So this is exactly the same kit that you get in the 16.5 inch. You get a power block, in my case, it's uh, North American. I have the uh, plug uh, for North America. If you're in another part of the world, you'll have something different. A USB-C to USB-C cable, but it's for power only. So you can't put data through this. We also have a USB-C to USB-C. Now that cable gets used if you've got a, a laptop with USB-C on it, basically a Thunderbolt one, where it can put out power, video, audio, all through one cable. Ours can't do that. So this isn't going to be the most used to us, we're just gonna put that away for now. But for an awful lot of people, especially executives with new laptops, that's the only cable you're really going to need. This is the older cable we need, and what a lot of people will use, which is HDMI to mini HDMI. Uh, mini HDMI is what the unit has, and HDMI is what your laptop probably has. And then there's a couple of screws that are included, and those screws are to allow you to convert the screen into a fixed screen, so you don't have to use it as a portable all the time. You could, if you get sick of using it uh, portably, you could mount it. Uh, there's the holes, and you're on your way. So the Ignoc 18.5 inch screen is exactly the same configuration of ports and buttons as the 16.5 that we reviewed yesterday. We have that link in the top right hand corner. Uh, what it has is an HDMI port uh, and it has two USB Type-C 3.1 ports. And what they will do is uh, they will receive uh, power and they will also uh, receive your video signals. So that is how people are going to connect in the future and how people with more expensive laptops are going to connect now. Um, they'll use just one of these rather than one of these for power plus the HDMI that we're going to do. Okay, enough of that. 
On the other side, we have a power button and an up and a down button for the various controls, which will show you, show you for the on-screen display. And a couple of things to note while we're setting this up. This thing is 3.3 pounds, so it's twice as heavy as the 16 inch, but it's still very light. And as you can see in this little graphic, it's only at its thinnest, six millimeters so it's not going to take up any space it's also still not that large and it's not going to fit in your laptop bag remember the big thing about this is that this thing came at about 200 dollars canadian so about 150 us that's really good for a quality portable monitor this is a 1920 uh, which is 1920 pixels across or dots so you can think of it that way by 1080 so 1080 in other words full high definition full hd because this is larger screen consumes a fair amount of electricity and if you are not plugging it in like we are uh, into uh, a power source if you're taking the power straight from your laptop instead uh, it can use a fair amount of power so what do you want to do to fix that well there's a setting in here that lets you drop it down to a lower pe uh, power setting we're not going to do that because this is a demonstration. And by the way, that gets to a good point. This is completely unsponsored. We don't know anything about this company, as we've explained. Amazon hasn't given us anything. Um, no one has given us anything for, the, for this company. So please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Bingo. I didn't do a damn thing. Plug and play. No drivers, no setup. It just works. Now let's just go look at the screen resolution. So I'm going to right click on the background because I'm running this on Windows and let's go to display settings. And in display settings, it's currently set to duplicate the screens. I want to extend it because if I'm an executive, actually, if I'm pretty much anybody, I want two screens. I, the whole point of this is to get a second screen for me. So I'll keep those changes and slide this over so you can see it. And you can see it's scaled at 100% and it is uh, 1920 by 10. 80 like we said. There are a couple of more things to know about this. One, the viewing angle is 178 degrees. So if you're looking at it from the side, you'll actually get a pretty good representation of what's on the screen. You'll actually be able to see it. Uh, a bigger thing though is the color representation. This can, is what's called 100% sRGB. RGB is red, green, blue and boils down to the colors. Now, 100% um, is about as good as you probably want. Anything more than that's kind of specialized. Uh, what it means is that it, this can reproduce all of the colors. It's a simplified version of what that means, but that's basically it. Uh, the 16.5 inch that we uh, demonstrated yesterday from Ignok, it could only do 95% of the colors. Will you notice a difference? Not unless you're a graphic designer with one hell of a keen eye, but some people, that's, for some people, that's a big deal. Okay, so as you can see, this works just fine with no setup, no configuration. So what we're going to do now is connect it to that phone. And to do that, we're going to disconnect the HDMI and we're going to take that USB-C cable and we're going to plug it into the phone. In my case, again, that's a Samsung S22. Now, because this is a Samsung, I expect this will load up Samsung DeX which just basically means it's going to turn that phone into a Chromebook. Look at that, Samsung DeX, just did it. No configuration, no settings. So where's the catch in this? The catch is this has only two USB-C ports, which means, and because this isn't a touchscreen, uh, how do you control it? <laughs> you can't plug in the USB keyboard or mouse. That's right. Uh, and it doesn't have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Uh, you know, it doesn't have any capabilities to communicate other than those cables. So how do you get it to, to, how do you turn this into a real Chromebook? Well, you get yourself a Bluetooth keyboard mouse and you have it connect to your phone. But you can see this is up, just worked. It'll be the same kind of a configuration if you have an Xbox or a PlayStation or a Nintendo Switch. Oh, and one more thing we should have mentioned is that this has FreeSync. And if you don't know what that is, don't sweat it. But basically it stops tearing in the video when the frames are changing rapidly. So what don't we like about this unit? Well, there's a couple of little things. The first is we would have appreciated at least one more USB port so we could connect the keyboard or mouse or something else. Next thing is at 3.3 pounds, it's relatively heavy, but it's not a big deal. So what do we like about the Ingnok 18.5 inch 1080p portable monitor? We like that you plug it in and it just works. It's simple and complexity kills. This is a good thing for executives. We also just love the price. Around $200 Canadian, so 150, 160 US. Wow, that's great. So in summary, yes, we would recommend this screen. And if this goes south on us in the future, 
we'll update you and let you know. But so far, we've used this for about a day, and it's been doing great. So hey, like we said, this is completely unsponsored, so we'd really appreciate the big thumbs up if you found this video useful. If you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urteth.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get a hold of you, somebody else will because it's YouTube and everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.